Hey and welcome to Neverwinter with Aragon. So finally, we are going to be able to trade in our promissory notes. Now for what do you ask? Well, if we look on the website, they've introduced this new box, the Nox box. Basically, it's like a loot box. However, the more you open, the more rewards you get for certain. You can see this is the tooltip right here of a Nox box. And once you open a certain amount, you'll guaranteed gain certain rewards. You can see here after you've opened 10, you will obtain a free mount. It can be a random chance of uncommon, rare, epic, legendary, or even mythic. After you open 25, same with a companion, all the way up to mythic. If you open 50, you gain a pack of 50 mount upgrade tokens, 75, 50 companion upgrade tokens, 100, 1000 trade bars, 125, a cold ward, and 150, a Noxus choice pack, a mythic mount or mythic companion choice pack. Now this seems to be a lot of RNG and you can see the certain chances for those certain rewards. It's one out of 10 boxes. You might obtain Hermelin trade bars, 25 of them. And one out of 200 boxes, you might obtain a random mythic insignia and the rest of them there as follows. However, once you open the maximum of 150 boxes, that will get all reset again. And we can see here with this picture what it kind of looks like. You'll open a certain amount and each one will give you a tier reward, depending on how many you have open up to 150. Now you can obtain these boxes from a whole variety of places. Firstly, you can get it from the Zen market. It will cost you 500 Zen for just 10 boxes. These boxes will have their rewards unbound since you can also purchase those boxes with astral diamonds from the wondrous bazaar however we can see that those rewards will be bound to your account you can also get them to drop from dungeon chests probably at a very low chance we can also claim five free ones from their reward reclaim agent that's pretty neat limited of course to your account now you can also trade in promissory notes. You can see you can obtain up to three of them to trade in at the Wondrous Bazaar as well. Now that is also limited to your account. I shall go over in a little bit how to obtain a promissory note and how you can obtain multiple of them. Otherwise, there are different versions of those boxes. You have the ones that are from the Zen market where the rewards will be unbound and you have the ones which you then can get from the Wondrous Bazaar, which are bound. And if you are opening a bunch of unbound ones, it won't go and open the bound ones. Let's say you wanted to sell your unbound ones, then you would open your bound ones first and it won't automatically start opening your unbound ones, which is just some neat coding there to make sure you, you aren't wasting your Zen you may have spent on it. Now, also in the Zen market, you should be able to obtain this limited time mythic insignia pack or mythic premium bundle. And we can see that that has a, another whole load of rewards there. You can obtain your mythic mount choice pack, which is pretty neat. And then you can also get a legendary mount double choice pack, a bunch of those legendary premium insignia choice packs and some mount upgrade token chests with 200 each there. Pretty neat. Again, we are unsure exactly what it's going to cost and we can see all of the different mythic insignias will be all there of those different types. So you ask, how do we obtain a promissory note? Well, if you simply go to your campaigns and you go and you start your river district, which is your cloaked ascendancy, you can see, you can view the campaign introduction and we can click accept the quest. This is if you haven't done the campaign before. If you've already done it, you should already have a promissory note. They are sellable and discardable, so you might not have them. So you want to obtain three of those. All you will have to complete is this chapter one river district unveiling, which will just require you to literally unlock the zone. You'll have to visit that river district and then you'll have to go and just fight a whole bunch of enemies here after speaking with Nox and you'll get the whole story of Girion taking the crown of Neverwinter and claiming he's the king of the city and so on. You'll get put into that big nest of politics and Never Ember will give you a promissory note as a reward for helping him out. And otherwise, that wraps it up. To me, it just seems somewhat like a new lockbox chance to obtain those different rewards as we can see there, but it definitely has some at least guaranteed rewards after you've opened a certain amount of them. So again, I'll check this further 
in depth when it actually goes live open a whole bunch of them probably can copy them to the preview server and so on and we'll see what kind of drop rates we're getting for each of those different rewards so again i'd like to give a massive thank you to all of my channel members for helping me keep my channel going and if i presented as well consider leaving the video a like if you're new around here consider subscribing i'll see you guys around goodbye for now